Hi there, this is Thomas Ellenberg coming to you from San Francisco, California. And today I'm going to share with you more from The Vortex, a book that has changed uh, my life. We're going to talk about a flawed premise that they uh, write about. It's their flawed premise uh, number seven. And the premise is uh, I, what our entire society is uh, based upon, which is a huge false belief and the belief is with enough effort at hard work I can accomplish anything I'll read that again they say this is false a false belief uh, with enough effort and hard work I can accomplish anything and then they go on to say when you are vibrationally out of balance with your desired results or what you're praying for basically I think of my desire uh, as uh, my prayer goal or my aim when I pray there is not enough physical action in the world to compensate without working on achieving vibrational alignment with source with who you really are all of the action in the world will not solve existing problems. The law of attraction, the law of attraction will bring you a steady stream of problems. Can you believe that? The law of attraction will bring you a steady stream of problems until you get back in alignment with your vortex. The power of the law of attraction responds to your vibration and will always bring you an exact match to what you're focusing on in regardless of your action. So anyway, I'd like to talk about prayer as a form of inner spiritual action. Uh, and how I have been pondering and meditating on the uh, the influence, the essence, the uh, the importance of uh, including prayer work in my moving into the vortex, uh, and I came to an epiphany, and I realized that. My prayers are always answered. My highest prayers for my highest good, no matter what, they're always answered because, number one, source is loving. Number two, prayer is step one in the three-step process. Ask, trust God, and allow in the solution or the answer. And uh, if we believe in the power of our prayer as um, like turning on the internet and ordering something from like Amazon.com, it's like when I pray, when I pray, it's like I'm going to source.com and or God.com or universal escrow.com or positive energy.com or miraclesnow.com and I'm saying could you please solve this problem with my neighbor or could you please uh, solve this problem with uh, some physical condition or some financial problem and uh, the prayer as Jesus says attached to belief in the automatic loving response by the universe, by God, by Jesus, whoever you aim your prayers towards, your, you know, your inner being, when you pray believing in the power of your prayer, it gets you into the vortex right away. You move right into well-being, the problem dissipates, as the Course in Miracles says, the problem is supplanted by the solution. 
the, uh, the miracle, the solution, the answer comes immediately or very quickly uh, depending upon how quickly we find our way into the vortex. So for me personally, the action that I take, the action that works for me in my life involves inner prayer work where, uh, I mean, I've even gotten down on my knees and I've said, please God, please universe, please Jesus, please Abraham, please all my ancestor spirits that, that I also ask help from, please help me uh, achieve this particular goal. I mean, I'm sitting here in San Francisco uh, as a result of that very same kind of prayer. Uh, I'm alive today because of that very same kind of prayer. Um, so I see that there is a connection between uh, the old time religion, the old time getting down on our knees and praying. To me, that's a metaphor for actually like, uh, you get down on your knees or whatever metaphorically, archetypally, and you just turn it over to the universe I am so excited by this teaching because I have seen how the power of my prayer, the intensity and passion behind my prayer, uh, when I think I just have to, I just have to manifest this. I just, this is the next logical step. Like coming back to San Francisco right now, I knew I just had to manifest it. So I'm sitting in this beautiful apartment. The sun is setting outside right now, overlooking the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, and I'm amazed at how, as I prayed, as I turned over my request uh, to the vortex, to God, to all my utterly trustworthy amakua, as the Hawaiians say, uh, all of those spiritual guides and beings who have helped me throughout all of my life, as I do that, more and more quickly, the answers arrive, the problems disappear, and I find that, like Dorothy riding the tornado to Oz, which is a wonderful hybrid archetype of the the vortex, uh, the the vortex. Uh, 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 idea <laughs> that obviously came to the writer of Wizard of Oz a long time ago. Um, prayer work really does carry you into the future probable reality uh, that you want to go. In fact, I was thinking today as I was sitting here in San Francisco basking in the wonderful liberal environment of this city that is so allowing of so many lifestyles and so many unique expressions of uh, people's own special ways of being on this planet. Uh, I remember decades and decades ago, back in my little village of Meadville, Pennsylvania, thinking to myself, I wonder if there's a place where I could be free, where I could really be free. And I wouldn't have to try to fit into the norm, you know, where I could be me, where I could uniquely be me and love the way I want to love and enjoy my life the way I want to enjoy my life without society dictating uh, so rigidly their uh, parameters, their what's supposed to be uh, your lifestyle inside the society's box. And today I realized, wow, that was a rocket of desire that I sent out many years ago and together with all the other people that live here in San Francisco, we've created an environment, a real cutting edge environment of freedom uh, and unique allowance of individual uh, expressions of our individual godhood. So I also have written a book about this. It is online, Uncle Tom's Classroom. A one public school teacher awakened his students to the cosmic super self within. You can read about it at UncleTom.com uh, uh, and all, uh, UncleTom'sClassroom.com, and I'm running out of time. So I will talk to you later, all you Abers. Bye.